hi everyone welcome back to this channel um for this video i just want to talk about motivation and you know just inspire you for those that are thinking of being an international student or for those that are already international student especially for those that are already international student in the uk or any other place um, around the globe now today is officially the um international student day which is the 17th of november and so that means every year international students are celebrated and for this year i thought why not do something around um celebrating our achievements as international students and also motivating you that are already in the process or that thinking of being an international student coming into or going to different countries to study abroad now for international students especially in the uk you probably would have um you know experienced the issues that are in the country that you're facing the big one the big one the big one the big one is the um, loneliness and sort of like you know the the distress of being in a new environment of coming from your country to a different space and having to deal with you know the new the different language the different weather for those that are not used to tropical, um, sorry, uh, temperate environment, uh, you know, those coming from tropical environment, uh, for those, for the teaching style, which is different from where you're coming from, um, for the, the culture and everything else. If you check one of my videos, I did something around culture shock and, you know, my experience as an international student in the UK. So I just want to really give you huge huge applause and kudos to you for striving on you guys are like the you know you're the main champ in all this you're pushing on you're doing double what any home student would probably do in terms of um, dealing with studying in a new environment and also thinking about your finance supporting yourself either working um part-time to support your program thinking about how the next fee is going to come through it's just a lot and some international students in fact many international students are also parents or um guardian of a family and so they also have to think about that while they juggle their studies while they think about their finance so it's really 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 hard and i really appreciate all of you guys that are doing as much as you can do to better yourself as a person but also to better the environment you know where you're going to either if you're going back to your home country or for those that are staying back in the country and pushing on as an international student i don't think this is really talked enough about especially if you look into the literature for those that are within academia um, international students are sort of like to an extent described like you know they are struggling for, um, with their academics or something you know like that but to be honest from my experience those that i've either studied with when i was an international student myself or those that i'm teaching right now as a lecturer myself as well i on all my colleagues that we finished together as international students you you could actually see a lot of success stories so i'm also saying this is now for those of you that you know thinking about joining that process i would say there are success stories a lot of them it does depends on how much you're like i've described earlier there's a lot that needs to be put into the process right but it depends on how much you are ready to push in to keep your eyes on the go the fact that um you want to better yourself as an individual but you also want to contribute to your community because irrespective of how you look at it, it once you develop yourself as an individual you're definitely going to be a better person in the society and that means you're already contributing to your society either you're here you remain in the country or you go back to your um, country of um origin now what i also want to briefly mention like i said there are so many success stories and i also want to highlight a few of them very briefly um i remember when i was um, doing my master's program and this is just from my experience there are so many so many so many people that actually have you know um beyond what i know in terms of success stories but i do know um you know international student one of my colleagues then who got a job in who and he was posted to you know um one of his selected countries before then he had to go to the us for training and since then he's gone back to his home country from ghana and he's been part of um heading different public health units because it's public health right but heading different public health units in his country traveling to um you know different cdc regions 
and the time I spoke to him and he was in, you know, the head of CDC in Africa. He also went to Korea and just traveled around the world because he's pushed himself. I remember we used to work together. Um, we used to study together and he was able to do that for himself. I know another colleague who recently has just joined the UN and she is um, she finished her PhD. She that, that other colleague didn't do PhD, he just did his masters and then went on like that. But my, the other the, the other lady did a PhD and now she's working with the United Nations. She was posted to Malaysia very recently, um, so she's probably there and the rest of that. Um, there's also a different another colleague that I know that is working in ONS, which is the Office of, of National Statistics. We came here international student. He came after I did actually, and he's got a job. He also did a PhD. Um, I know of a colleague who didn't do PhD but got um, a job in KPMG uh, as you know part of their team. In fact, he got the job before he finished his master's program. So that's that. Several of my colleagues or that I've heard of or that I know personally are in the NHS. Some of them are. I mean, a lot of us are working in academia. I, for example, you know, I'm in academia. Recently, I did tell you about my promotion to senior lecturer. And recently, as well, I've just been um, given the responsibility to be course leader for BSc program for public health in my university. So that means everything that has to do with the BSc program, you know, the student coordination, staff coordination, that comes to me before it goes to the head of department, if I can handle it. So that's a whole lot of, um, you know, responsibility but uh, obviously progression if you think about it in that way i also know a colleague uh, or a student that actually went back to his home country and is currently the head of department in nigeria in 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 his university so there's just so many different stories either in the country or outside the country and we know several students that are you know heading their own charity organizations and working just different places these are just a few that i know from my you know top of my head but there are so many of them i'm just saying this because to motivate you that yeah somebody might be like yeah uk or or abroad schools take your money yes they do take your money but you also get something if you are determined to get something so this is just for me to motivate all of you and me myself as well because yes um i still need a whole lot of growth to do um so it's just to motivate all of us me you and anyone else um that is watching this video that we need to do more um you're doing well you just need to keep pushing so many international students are topping classes and getting you know straight a's and distinctions especially if you think about where we study from right like where we came from studying for example in nigeria is a different ball game you know it's you're studying in a hard and harsh environment and condition but then you still do well and so when you come here the way i teach some of my students and the things i'm required to do for them i think ah, wow must be nice i wish this was how i did my um first degree do you know but going through all of that so if you come here in most cases you should you know not just strive but thrive in the environment pick all the opportunities that are available to you and so many students are doing that i'm really really proud of international students that i've come across or that i've heard of honestly so many of them are doing that and i just want to motivate you that you can do it and also appreciate those that are working their behinds off to get you know to where they are going in terms of you know thinking about um, um their finance and also to thank our parents our family that are contributing immensely to this process you know investing in us believing in us that we can do it and sometimes even life-saving assets are sold to get us to 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 come to some of these countries and study so a big and huge thank you to them and our appreciation in addition to this is for us to be where they think or where they believe we can be because if they don't believe in us they will not be putting life savings into our education and obviously for those that are sponsoring themselves it's still the same thing you believe in yourself you know you can do it that's why you're putting your life saving that's why you're putting at hand money on the table for you to come and get some of these degrees so please um, appreciate yourself pat yourself on the back um, and appreciate others that are sacrificing a lot for us to be here and obviously for those that have partner you know um, family children and the rest of that 
really big appreciation to them as well for really you know being there supporting um just word of encouragement um allowing us to take so many time for example when i did my phd so many hours of so many days that um so many family events that you're supposed to be at and it's just like i can't be because i'm studying or i have to work you know um to support my program so one of those all, all those things really appreciating them as well for understanding and for supporting and for just um, waiting on us to better ourselves so that we can be a better um, sort of like addition in terms of the family so all in all hopefully you join this international student um, movement I really for me personally this is one of my passion I just feel like the narrative for international students is not what is actually what it actually is most of this research are done by you know non um, international persons anyway so we as international students I would like to see more success stories and share them so please um, put in the comment section or just message me uh, if you have any international as an international student if you're an international student and you have any success story and you would just like to motivate people or just share how you achieve or what you have achieved please do that i'm very 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 interested in hearing all about that uh, so anyway this is it and i will wrap this up obviously if you like this thumbs up and also um subscribe and definitely put on the bell notification so you notice when i upload but for now i am i'm actually at work so i'm just gonna head back to my work all right so bye bye and happy International Student Day again. <laughs>